Question number four is over the normal curve again. And there are some key tips to getting these questions right when doing them on the test. We want to find the 75th percentile of the hockey game goalie reaction times on a curve that has a mean of 150 and a standard deviation of 10. So when you look at these curves, you'll notice that some area is shaded in. Now actually, it doesn't even matter what areas are white and what areas are black because we can solve for all the areas no matter what. Now the area that is shaded in is the black area. So let's go ahead and solve out these areas. Now on this first curve, we see that the black area is divided up into two parts. That means that each of them is worth 37.5. So where do the lines actually exist? They exist at the 37.5th percentile and the 62.5th percentile. And that's because 100 minus 37.5 is 62.5. So neither of these will come in any use for us because we're seeing here the outer 75% and also the middle 25%. We want the 75th percentile. And actually, the next curve shows us the exact same thing, just with the image kind of flip-flopped. We have the middle 25% and the outer 75%. We can't use this image here to solve for answers either. This next image shows us the middle 75%. The middle 75% also has an outer 25%, which is on both sides. So that means we have 12.5% on the lower side, and 12.5% on the upper side. So what we're actually viewing right here is where the 12.5th percentile is and the 87.5th percentile is. Just break down the curve and try to figure out where the percentiles are. So this curve is actually of no use to us either because we're not interested in the 12.5th percentile or the 87.5th percentile. Finally, we get a curve that shows us the lower 25%. Now you might say we're not interested in the lower 25%, but it actually helps us a lot. The lower 25% is in the same position as the upper 25%. As we can see here, the upper 25% merely is on the direct opposite side. So when we look at the answer for where the lower 25% is, we could figure this out for where the upper 25% is. Now why are we interested in the upper 25%? The upper 25% is where the 75th percentile is at. So the first thing we want to do is find out how much lower the 25th percentile is from the mean. This will be the exact distance that the upper 25% is above the mean. And for our problem right here, the lower 25% is 6.742 below the mean. That means that the upper 25% is 6.742 above the mean. So our answer will be 156.742. And this is just due to the rules of symmetry that the lower 25% has to be equal distance away from the mean as would be the 75th percent.